Ch this Christmas, children as young as two are sleeping at the port of entry, waiting to seek asylum in the U.S., many without shelter or food. But a team of volunteers are taking winter Texans to experience the spirit of giving in a way they've never imagined. Local 23's Derek Garcia shares his story. They need to be helped, and that's what we're here for. Christmas is the time of giving. And these winter Texans are loaded with toys and home cooked food. The Minnesota natives now call the Rio Grande Valley home. And for the first time, they're about to cross into Mexico and meet families with children as young as two years old praying for the American dream. Very humbling. Um, I'm, I'm so happy that we were able to do this for these people. They meet two year old Daniel from Honduras. His mother and father are in tears much of the time we're there. Daniel is unaware of the political atmosphere, but tonight he's on his best behavior because Santa brought a bag full of goodies, a piñata, and elves with hearts. We celebrate Christmas, we celebrate food, and then um, I think it's important to remember that these persons um, oftentimes go forgotten. Is it a Christmas miracle? I think so. Maybe for some of the kids. Um, I see tears. I see feelings of joy. I see people smiling. And it definitely um, touches my heart because we're able to do that for them. I think our lives have changed. I think so. In a good way. To really know what it feels like to be a human. A caring human. And what love is really about. On the Texas-Mexico border, Derek Garcia, Local 23 News. The Winter Texans are helping with asylum volunteers from Team Brownsville. We featured their stories before, and for a look at our reports and how you can help, head to kveo.com.